Hello, this is Sandout here, and welcome back to Sandout's Toy Chest. This week's clue, deliver within 30 minutes or it's three bucks off, which references a movie that came out in the early 90s that featured pizza. And so today we are taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza thrower. So here we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 series pizza thrower. Now this is a new vehicle. It's a deluxe vehicle for the Ninja Turtles line in that it is the $30 price point. Um, it does not include any figures, and it is a little smaller than the Shell Razor and the Party uh, Wagon, but it has some things that balance it out. Now, this is a remake of a classic uh, toy from the 87 series, which was the Pizza Thrower, and honestly, I think it's pretty cool. I ended up picking this up at Toys R Us for $29.99, and I'm really glad I did because this thing is super fun. First of all, let's take a look at the vehicle itself. You can see it's kind of a mismatch of pieces. Um, you have the pizza thrower itself up here, but you have like one big wheel here and one tiny one on the other side. And you have like a what looks to be a, a powered scooter on the front, um, which is just kind of kind of strange. Looks like you have a, a pizza oven in the middle um, as it does launch pizzas. And you got like different parts um, from a pizza oven here and there, which is pretty neat. What's a weird detail is you have the sticker here on the back. It says uh, Pizza Pizza, which is a Canadian uh, pizza chain. So even though the Ninja Turtles live in New York, they can still get Pizza Pizza. Um, as you can see, hot and fresh on the side. And they even have little details like a menu here, um, which is a neat little sticker inclusion. So overall, there's a lot of cool details, but one of the coolest is that up here you get Pizza Face. Now, appearing in the episode Pizza Face, um, this is the only figure representation, as that episode um, was not a regular episode. I feel like this is probably the only figure representation we're going to get of Pizza Face. Um, but you can see there, he's there, chilling out. Um, so that's pretty cool overall. Now, like I said, this thing has a few bonus features. First of all, you get these uh, pizza tools. So you get one of these, you get a brush here, and you get a pan server. Um, and these are fitted for the turtle's hands so they can hold these as weapons or to make pizza, uh, which is a neat little bonus. I, I think giving the turtle something to do um, with the vehicle, giving them new accessories like this is a cool idea and I want to see it done more because um, not enough vehicles really do that. But you can see they work well with the turtles, and they can store on the side here. Now, in terms of compatibility with the turtles, despite being a $30 vehicle, it does only hold two. Most of the $30 vehicles hold four. I say most, as the other three do. So you can fit two turtles on here, uh, one back here or up here with the uh, scooter. Uh, you can just kind of fit. I'm going to go with Leonardo since the scooter is blue. Um, so we'll put him there. Getting them down in there can be a little tricky, but it is possible. So there you go. Yeah, Leo there. And since Michelangelo is pizza, we'll put him back here. Um, so you can see there's a peg. There's one foot peg there. And they can grab onto this to hold the back. And also steer the thing. So you got that going on there. Which is pretty cool overall. Now this does turn, like I said, uh, the steer. So you can turn this. You also can, uh, there's a release tab over here to remove it in case you need to replace the batteries as there is a motorized function. Yes, much like the original pizza thrower, there is a motorized functionality here. And naturally being called the pizza thrower, you have to have pizzas. So you get 10 of these pizzas, which are just standard uh, plastic discs that have pizza stickers on them. Uh, yeah, you have to put on all 10, the vehicle itself holds 7, but it does include 10. And you can see that it says, do not aim at humans or dogs. Um, or it's, it's supposed to be don't aim at it at people or, or, or animals. Um, but you can see you have these really nice pizzas, which are nicely scaled to the turtles, which is pretty nice. And you can take and load them up here at the top of the vehicle. So once you have your discs loaded, you think it'd be a simple firing mechanism that wouldn't require too much work, right? You know, you just push it and the discs fly. Well, this thing's a little more powerful than that. As you can see, there's an on-off switch. So once you click it on, you press pizza face here, and you can launch the, or throw the pizzas. So 
So the pizza launching is kind of insane, as you can see. I had to go clean up all, all the pizzas that scattered. And, yeah, it really hurts if you get hit by one of these. Um, it does sting a bit, which is a problem. This launches incredibly fast. It is motorized, and that's why it does that. Um, so do keep it away from people or animals if you are launching this thing. Um, you don't want to directly hit someone because it will hurt and that would be bad. So aim at inanimate objects and make sure you don't aim it at glass. It very well could break glass, I think, almost. This pizza thrower is a little too powerful, I feel, as um, one of these pizzas bouncing off from my backboard bounced, hit me, and then fell somewhere off in the shelves. So I gotta go clean my figure shelves now because the pizza's somewhere there. So. They're very easy to get lost. Um, it's a good thing there are extras included um, because that way if you you can lose up to three of them and then still have a full set of pizza inside the vehicle. Overall though, the pizza thrower is really neat and if you are a old Turtles fan that remembers the old thing or you just want a fun vehicle that throws pizzas, this is definitely fun. Um, I do enjoy it, I do think it's cool, and it's definitely worth its price. Where it makes up for not having as much turtle storage it does have the motorized feature, which is really cool. And overall, I definitely recommend it. That is all for this week on Sandout's Toy Chest. If you are looking for more reviews from me, you can check out my weekly shows, Model Kit Monday on Mondays, Sandout's Toy Chest here on Thursdays, and Sandout Review on Saturday. You can also stay tuned for next week, where the clue is... Do I even have a heart? Am I even real? So that could be a whole lot of things, but if you do have an idea of what it is, post a comment below. So until then, be sure to check out HeroTaku.com for your Ninja Turtles news and more. Until next time, sound saying. Goodbye.